You know, we reporters are always looking for the truth. After all, if there's one thing politicians are good at, it's political spin. Well, here's the truth about inflation and the newly signed Inflation Reduction Act. Actually reducing inflation is going to take some time, and it may have nothing to do with the law that President Biden signed earlier this week. In fact, the University of Pennsylvania's Penn Wharton budget model, which is a widely respected economic predictor, says the act would have no meaningful effect on inflation in the near term. One reason, many of the bill's policy changes, like prescription drug reform, don't begin for several years. Thank you. The president disagrees, believing the new law will have an impact because it decreases the deficit. White House aides have told reporters they believe lower deficits have historically helped reduce inflation. Regardless, the current inflation rate sits at around eight and a half percent. That means if you spent $100 in goods and services last year at this time, you're paying around $8.50 more for those same services. Currently, most economic forecasts have inflation getting back to two to four percent, which is more normal by the end of next year. But those forecasts say that only happens if the economy keeps slowing down. A slowing economy has drawbacks, though. For instance, companies may be less inclined to hire new employees or offer a pay raise if profits won't be as high. Higher interest rates right now mean debt, like mortgages, is more costly. Expect the inflation fight to be at the center of this year's midterm election. Many Republicans are campaigning on cutting taxes and government spending to help fight inflation. Democrats are campaigning on policies to offset the cost of inflation, like limiting how much child care costs or providing new child tax credits as the country waits for inflation to improve. Gas prices have impacted a lot of things. Some Americans are making some big changes. I recently met Christine Brett. I purchased a different vehicle because I had better gas mileage than my SUV. In Washington, I'm Joe St. George.